Okay, here we're going to convert the polar point negative 5 comma 315 degrees to rectangular coordinates. So we'll use the formula x equals r times cosine of theta and that y equals r times sine of theta. So again, in this case, our r value will be negative 5. Our theta, va theta value will be 315 degrees. So that'll give us x equals negative 5 times cosine of 315 degrees, and y will be negative 5 times sine of 315 degrees. Uh, again, I always forget degrees. I'm so used to using radians, so I'm going to convert. Well, let's see. If we're at the negative y-axis, that's 270 degrees, which is... 3 pi over 2. I guess we would need to add another 45 degrees, which would be adding another pi over 4 radians. And if we get common denominators, we would have 6 pi over 4 plus pi over 4. So 7 pi over 4 will be our, um, our angle in radians. So equivalently, we can write this as negative 5 times cosine of 7 pi over 4, and we can write the y value as negative 5 times sine of 7 pi over 4. And to evaluate each of these, recall that at the angle 7 pi over 4, if you're on the unit circle, at 7 pi over 4 on the unit circle, you're hitting the ordered pair, what would that be? I guess that would be square root of 2 over 2, comma, negative square root of 2 over 2. So just reminding myself of the values here. So let's see here. Uh, we'll have, let me get another piece of paper. So for cosine, or for the x-coordinate, we'll have negative 5 multiplied by cosine of 7 pi over 4. 7 pi over 4 will be the square root of 2 over 2. There's really not a lot of simplification you can do there, so I'm just going to leave it negative 5 times root 2 over 2. And for the y value, we'll have negative 5 times sine of 7 pi over 4, but 7 pi over 4 is negative square root of 2 over 2. Well, there, two negatives will make a positive, so we'll have 5 times root 2 over 2. So in rectangular coordinates, we would use the point negative 5 times the square root of 2 over 2, comma 5 times the square root of 2 over 2.